one of the signs of, of a smart company is not to throw a lot of money at digital without knowing how to use it. So take 10% of your budget, put it into digital, but put it in the hands of a team of very capable net netizens. A netizen is someone who grew up with the net, a young millennial person or earlier. Give them the money and say, play around with it. And we're going to give you more if it shows that it's working. Mm -hmm. Maybe another 5%. But if it's not working, we're going to wait to watch how it works for other companies. We're going to learn from others as well as ourselves. Now, how far will it go? Well, at Procter & Gamble, they're telling me Good. that depending on the product, they are now at a range of 25% to 35% being spent on digital. Sure. Okay. By the way, I think they're still growing their total advertising budget because they don't want to let go of the branding built by the 30-second commercial. Right. I think it will go to 50-50. Mr. Gottler, if I ask you to look at the marketing function mm -hmm. and how it's evolved over the years within an organization, right, and the kind of prominence uh, it used to have or it has currently, as the case may be, do you think the marketing function actually has progressed within an organization or actually regressed? Well, no, it is uh, progressing. Um, um, the problem that is facing uh, marketers is that the CEO, along with the chief financial officer, want to a measure of Roma. Roma is return on marketing investment. Uh, ro re Romi or Romai, it depends on whether it's return on marketing assets or on investment. And those numbers don't exist yet. This is why I urge the CMO to become a friend of the CFO okay. because the CFO is your enemy sure. in marketing right. because he or she keeps telling the CEO we're spending too much money on marketing. True. Now if the two go down to have lunch together and work out a metric system that will satisfy the CFO, he may become your best ally. But you know, I want to talk about um the CMO today, yes, uh, and the fact is most CMOs today are not net netizens, right? That's correct. They are not um, digital citizens. Uh, and the fact that they have to suddenly, um, you know, take on so much is a little bit intimidating. They're doing it, but they really do, they're not very comfortable yeah. with it. It's and not they admit their it. natural leading. They so, admit that they, yeah, yeah. they aren't adequately trained in digital. Given that, do you think CMOs should be as old as they are while running these companies? I've been predicting that uh, marketing will be run by younger and younger people in the future. I can imagine the CMO of a company being 20 years old. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.